Yo, what up? It's Kezin. We're back again with another video. And this one we're going to be talking about Shadow Knight clicky items. This isn't every single clicky in the game, but it should cover most of them and have all the class defining ones in there. Um, if I do figure out that I missed one later, uh, just make sure to check the website for the latest list. And if you do see something I missed, just let me know. I'll be happy to add it. So we'll just start at classic and we'll work our way down. Uh, if you do like my content, please make sure to like the video and also please subscribe. So we'll start uh, with the classic here. The first item is Amulet of Necropotence. This is just an instant cast clicky. It also has Skeleton Illusion, so it's just kind of nice to have, really for any class. Next is uh, Fearsome Shield. This will give you, this is actually a really good item in Era. Uh, the stats on it are good. And it also gives you Aura of Battle, which is gonna increase your regen and your attack rating just a little bit. It's not necessary, but I thought I'd throw it in there because the item itself is still really good. Uh, next we got J Boots. This is a no-brainer. Instant cast run speed. Everybody knows that. Uh, next we have Pegasus Feather Cloak. This is going to give you a levitation buff. Now, later Shadow Knights get better levitation buffs than this one, but if you really want to farm this out and you want to get levitation ASAP, uh, you can pick this up, but it's very rare. Uh, next we have Shield of the Immaculate. This will give you a right class, uh, instant, right, ca right click, cast, instant cast, uh, cure disease clicky. Again, not 100% necessary, but really nice to have. I would, I would probably farm this out um, if I was a Shadow Knight. And also in Era, it's a really good shield as well um, because it could be used as a back slot item. And it's 25 AC in a back slot item, which is really good. Um, so next we have Shrunken Goblin Skull Earring. Uh, this will give you right click Grimora. There's a bunch of Grimora clickies in the game. Um, I only have two included in this guide, just like the group level ones that are kind of easier to get. I don't have like raid stuff from this. But if you want to pick this up, another good instant cast. Uh, next, moving on to Kunark, we have Blazing Van Braces. This is from the Cleric Epic uh, 1.0 questline, the Dragon and Skyfire. It's going to give you a right-click damage shield. Um, it's instant cast. You can cast this on anybody, so it's just kind of fun to have. And it's also good, a little bit of extra DPS if you're tanking. Uh, next, we have the entire Blood Ember set. And I'm going to try to zoom out. Hopefully, you can read this whole thing. And every item from the set will give you a different clicky. Uh, the braces will give you gather shadows, but it's not that good because it's a 10 second cast time. The helm gives you dead eye. You don't really need that one. Uh, the blood ember breastplate is pretty good. It gives you a right click major shielding buff, so that is nice. The gloves will give you, I'm sorry, the greaves will give you feign death, three second cast time. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to use that or not. If you're like feign death is on cooldown, um, you can use this, so that's kind of nice. And like maybe if like your regular feign death fails and then it's on cooldown then you can uh, click the greaves uh, next we have the boots which will give you a right click fear uh it's not that useful because it's a sec seven second casting time whatever gauntlets will give you a right click snare it's a five second cast time and it's only in fogging darkness which if i remember I'm not 100 percent sure but i think that's the lowest level one that there is so it's kind of you know you can get it if you want and next blood ember van braces it's going to give you a right click um, heal over time. Actually, this might be a proc. Yeah, it looks like it's a proc. So it's a buff that will give you a uh, give you a proc. So that one's pretty good. You can pick that one up. Um, overall, all these items are really good in Kunark era. Uh, just because of their stats. So maybe you want to pick these items up anyway just to wear them. Until Vilius comes out on your server. Uh, next we have Circlet of Shadow. I'm just going to give you an instant cast gather shadow spell this is your best invisibility spell um, visibility item that you can possibly get now it doesn't it does stop dropping at a certain point I want to say maybe when Vilius comes out I'm not exactly sure at the exact moment um, it, I've actually seen it come out like stop stop dropping at different times so make sure you get the pre-nerf version and get it before it doesn't drop anymore uh, next we have blood of orchard katana this will give you a right click sow. This is a pretty handy item and you can cast this on anyone, which is what's really nice about this one. Uh, next we have Bracer of the Hidden. It's just a right click C and Viz. Uh, it's an instant cast and you can cast that on anybody too. Uh, Regal Band of Bathazid. You don't have to get this. It requires a lot of charter factioning and you got to do the quest, but it does have a right click 25 damage damage shield on it, uh, but it only has five charges, but you can recharge it the zone in if you really want. So maybe if you're in Chardock a lot, you can maybe pick this up. Completely optional, up to you. Uh, next, you have Ring of Stealthy Travel. So, if for some reason you can't get the Circle of Shadows, this is a pretty good um, way to invisible to go invisible as well. It's only a two-second cast time on it, so you can pick that up. It's a secondary option. And Shadin 
a Revenant Bobble. This is a right click bobbing corpse, which is similar to Dead Man Floating. I think maybe it's not quite as strong as Dead Man Floating, but what's nice about it is it gives you a one and a half second cast time. And this is self only. So it might be as, just as strong. I don't honestly don't remember, but it's really nice self only levitate. Next we have Blood Lord's Breastplate. Um, this is the class, Velius class breastplate. It's gonna give you right click invigorate. The, the breastplate itself has good stats, but you might not really care for the Invigorate since it's such a long cast time, but I figured I'd include it on here anyway. You can actually get it from any of the Velius class armor quests. Um, Skyshine, Thurgadin, I gotta put a G in there it looks like. Plane of Growth and Kale. Um, next we have Eye Patch of Plunder. This is a right click haste item, 20%. Pick it up if you want. If you don't need it, don't bother. It is a quest. Uh, next we have Girdle of Living Thorns. This is gonna give you some damage shield and some AC. I don't know what Shadow Knight spells this stacks and doesn't stack with, so just be careful with that before you bid on this. I personally am not a Shadow Knight expert and I did not like look into it really deeply, but I just wanted to present this as an option. Hallgrush Elder Beads is gonna give you a right click eye Zom, so you can cast Life Tap on this, get some life back, you can use it for scouting, it's kind of a nice item to have in general. And that also will stop dropping at a certain point, but it does come back in Gates of Discord via the casino. Uh, Try plated Golden ha Hackle Hammer is a right-click Arc Shielding. Uh, it's a 0.1 second cast time, which is essentially instant cast. So that's nice to have as well. Uh, the Flowers of Functionality. These are pretty rare, especially um, some of them are really rare. But if you want to put the time in and play the mischief, you can farm all these out. These are pretty good. They give you 50 all resists. Um, each flower will give a different resist. Uh, Polymorph 1 Forest Fairy. I'm actually going to take this out of... The Shadow Knight guide because there's better options that we already went over, like the Kunark earring. Um, the shot in bobble is better than this, so um, this is a net levitate option if you can buy it from the store. Um, it, maybe I'll leave it in. I might I might leave it in. Um, just leave it as an option. We'll see. Uh, so next we have Ring of Dane Frost Reaver the Fourth. This will give you some attack rating, some damage shield, and some regen. Again, I don't know which spells the Shadow Knights. Um, might overlap with this so just look at um see make sure this doesn't overlap with anything that shadow knights have uh, but this is an option too and the actual ring is still really good uh rula's chromatic ring this is like a mini dang ring and it also has some good stats on it as well uh, this is a quest where you got to kill the uh the warders in sleeper tomb and sleeper's tomb it's actually the ones after the sleeper dies the first time um, after you kill him, then you know the new version of the dragon spawn. Well, this is a quest for those dragons, so that's optional here. Uh, Sword of Pain is a right click Grim Aura. I figured I'd include this, include this one because it is a Shadow Knight only weapon, so that's pretty cool. And this drops from uh, Invelkator, uh, one of the Ice Paw guys. I think he's probably down in the basement or he's at the, at the tent camp. I don't know where he spawns exactly, I'd have to look, but uh, this is a nice. Nice little clicky to have, and it's got some decent stats on it too. Next we have Wave Crasher. This is just a slow. Um, this is actually a proc, it's not a cast time. So you can pick this up if you want. It's gonna give you a 20% magic base slow, and has a little dot on it as well, so just be careful because it will break meses. Uh, Will Sapper is extremely rare, and this is a 35% slow. And Shadow Knights can wear this, so if you can get Vaniki to spawn, Congratulations, you got a Will Sapper. So that's kind of a nice chase item to get. Next we have Lucklin, and we're gonna start off with Belt of Marvelous Visions. This is gonna give you 30% haste and 50 stamina. So this is really, really nice. And the stats on it are really good too. It's a 30 AC in a belt slot, which is really nice. Um, this is, I think this is the best haste clicky that Shadow Knights can get until Gates of Discord comes out when there's a belt that gets 50%. But this is a really nice pickup if you can pick this up. Um, do so. Uh, next we have Bracelet of the Shadow Hive. This is a right click shrink and you can cast it on anybody. It only has a one second cast time. That's optional. Next we have Breastplate of the Void. Um, this is going to give you, I think this goes in the armor spell slot. So I don't know if Shadow Knights have like lower level versions of shielding. They might, but this will not stack with those if, if, if the Shadow Knights do get that. Um, it, this will give you some 225 health and it'll give you 40 cold resist and magic resist. So just check out stacking before you get this, but keep in mind, uh, it does not have AC in it. Next we have Crystallized Serpent Eye. 
Let's see, can Shadow Knights wear this? Yeah, they can. Okay, good. So this will give you a four-point damage shield. Really not necessary, but if you want to pick it up, you can. Next, we have Dusty Sora's Worker Patch. Uh, this is like this. Th this will summon Throwing Fangs. As a Shadow Knight, you probably won't use these. Um, but I'm going to keep them in here just for the sake. Maybe some people do like to use them because you don't actually have to cast a spell to aggro something. But usually as a Shadow Knight, you probably do want to cast the spell because that's kind of like your... Um, your way to get aggro, but you can pick these up if you want. Uh, gloves of warding, completely optional. We give you 50 all resists. I'm sorry, 50 to magic resist. Orb of the sky is a uh, buff that will give you a stun proc. It gives you it has a 10 second cast time on it, so it's kind of long. It only lasts 10 minutes. Uh, you don't really need this as a shadow knight. It's probably more for warriors, but I figured I'd throw it in here. Um, it will give you like an extra proc for some aggro if you want. Uh, Ring of Resistance, completely optional. 10 all resists in the form of an AA. Shield of Mental Fortitude. It's going to give you a 250 point increase to your base mana pool. So, you don't have to pick this up, but it is still a good item. Um, like, the mana pool is not like a huge issue for a Shadow Knight, unless you're chain pulling a lot, or you're just really going through the dots to pull aggro. But if you want to pick this up, um, that's a good pick up here. Only Paladin Knight, Paladins and Shadow Knights can wear it, so... This is like a really good item to get if you can get it. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult if it drops. Next we have Sigil Earring of Veracity. This is just an Acumen clicky. You don't have to get this, but it's just an instant cast. Uh, T Torque of the Worm Lord. This is a 300 HP buff. It also will give you 30 stamina and 20 charisma, so it's really nice. And this goes in the Brels line of spells, so you probably want to pick this up if you can. This is item is best for uh, warriors and probably shadow knights. Next we have Wand of Imperceptibility. This is a right click shrink if you can't get the bracelet of the shadow hive. Um, this however is only self only and it's, it has an 8 second cast time on it. But it's a good shrink item. Uh, these two items here, uh, Fuse Mimirik of Kadisha and these studded leather boots. These are both just self only sal items. So you can pick up whichever one you want. Uh, the, leather, the leather boots here, these drop off of Lord Siru. So generally, these are a lot easier to get. And this is what mostly people farm uh, to get for their Sal Clicky. So if you want to pick this up, this is a nice little pickup too. And the stats are really good. Moving on to Planes of Power, we have Bane of Primordial Energy. This is a right-click AC buff in the form of an AA. I would recommend getting that if you can. Uh, Bangle of Disease Warding is an instant cast, resist disease. This comes from a quest out of Plane of Disease. So I would recommend picking this up as maybe, maybe if you're bored or something, you can pick this up. So it's just kind of nice little clicky to have. This next breastplate here, breastplate of emblazoned souls. This is going to give you a right click buff called black shroud and black Sh shroud is actually a gates of discord spell. So this is pretty powerful for a pop level item and it gives you the chance to steal life from the enemy. So it's like a life tap proc. So you definitely want to pick this one up. Next we have Celestial Cloak. This will just give you 5 HP and mana regen in the form of an AA. Next uh, we have Club of Slime. This is a cold based proc. So this will actually allow you to slow like em the Emperor Shazara or whatever. But it's only 10%. But this is a nice little pickup and a fun little farm to do uh, in, in uh, Planes of Power. Comes off of Tribal Leader Dizineron in Plane of Earth. He's a group he's a group named. So you can farm that out. Cloak of Retribution will give you 20 a 20 point damage shield. Uh, that's optional. Disciple War Gauntlets comes in the revamped version of Kazik Thule. This will give you invisibility versus undead. Only Paladins, Paladins and Shadow Knights can wear it. So this is optional, but this is a nice clicky to have. Earring of Celestial Energy is low priority. It's just going to give you 20 to all resists in the form of an AA. I have dreams is probably a low priority, I would say, unless you're like trying to get uh, best in the slot or you're or you're stuck on like Agnar where you're just on pop all the time. But this will give you 400 to your base mana pool permanently in the form of an AA. So it's just a nice mana boost. Uh, completely up to you whether uh, how important this is to you. Girdle of Intense Durability is going to give you a damage shield clicky. Again, I don't know. I think this probably stacks with most, if not all, Shadow Knight damage shields, but I could be wrong. So just make sure you look into that before you bid on this. Grieve of Emblazoned Souls. 
This is going to right click Cloak of the Akiva, which is going to give you a buff that will increase your um, health, armor class, and uh, give you a damage shield. So this is a nice clicky to have so you don't have to memorize that crap. Prismatic Ring of Resistance is going to give you some AC and some resists. And you can right click that for like a permanent AA buff. This is a pretty good item to get as well. Silver Hoop of Speed. Um, I put this one in there because it has um, an overhaste buff on it. So it's like similar to version 3 barred overhaste. You don't have to get this. It's probably a really low priority. Um, Shadow Knights aren't really a DPS class. But if you're really going for best in slot and planes of power. Um, you can pick one of these up if you want. Uh, the Binden Corn Enchilada. This will give you a gate to plane of knowledge. I recommend getting this for all classes that don't have gate. Um, as you can gate straight to Pock, and it costs a little bit less than an actual gate potion. So you can like bind somewhere else and you can still gate the plane of knowledge. Nice little item to get. Veil of the Infernos is going to give you 180 health in the form of an AA clicky. Cloak of the Fleeting Foot. Let's see if we can get that on the screen. This is a right click sow that you can cast on anybody and then it only has a three second cast time so that's a really nice item to get. I can pick that up if you want to, it's up to you. And lastly, let's see if we can get this to work too. Okay, here we go. Tarnish Van Braces of Dark Magic. So this is the same type of clicky as your uh, Planes of Power Ornate Breastplate here. However, this Planes of Power clicky, this is actually better because this is a Gates of Discord spell. and. This Tarnished Van Braces is actually the pop spell. So this this is an actually this is actually a worse clicky than that breastplate up there. But if you don't have the breastplate, um, you can still pick this up if you want. Uh, it's up to you if you need it or not. But that pretty much covers everything. Uh, I hope this was helpful. And if I find any other updates, I'll make sure to update the website. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. And also please subscribe. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.